Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about heirlooms and more specifically the pretty big changes coming to heirlooms in the Shadowlands pre-patch. But before we get into all of that guys, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to check me out streaming the Shadowlands beta every single day over on twitch.tv slash mrgm. Right, so heirlooms, definitely something that we weren't really too sure about until recently Blizzard put out a blue post explaining the changes they're making to heirlooms and as of the last build, the changes were implemented, but the actual like bonuses and stuff don't currently work. But we can take a good look at it and uh, and kind of talk about it, and you know, just yeah, just kind of go over the changes that are coming to heirlooms. They have also stated that this is a work in progress, and they could change at any time. So currently, this is how they are on beta. They could change, as I said. So this is what they're like as of right now. And what's happening is. There's going to be a set bonus. There is going to be set bonuses for heirlooms and it's going to be a seven piece set. Chest, helm, shoulders, cloak, legs, necklace and ring. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. That was an idea that a lot of people throwing around like, oh yeah, we should definitely make these like a set bonus. That'd be actually kind of neat for uh, for returning players. Now, what the biggest thing, you know, the biggest change here is that the XP bonus has been completely removed from all heirlooms. So no longer will you receive the 10 or 5 or whatever percent increase experience from heirlooms. That's gone. That's completely gone. Uh, mainly just due to, you know, leveling being a lot faster in Shadowlands with Chromie time and whatnot. Uh, pretty much all the other potions were removed as well. Uh, apart from the Battle for Azeroth potion, that's the one that's uh, still staying. But all the rest of them are pretty much just being removed as of the pre-patch. Now, obviously, this change has made a few people upset who really, really don't like leveling uh, at all and just want to get it through as fast as possible. Uh, but you know, as I said, like, you know, they have sped up leveling a hell of a lot, so it's going to be pretty much like you're wearing heirlooms anyway. Uh, War Mode also still does give a XP boost as well if you want to level through that way. So let's go through some of these set bonuses anyway. So for two pieces, you get Rested Experience Consumed is reduced by 30%. Now, Rested Experience is an interesting one. Now, obviously, with a brand new player, um, you know, you're just going to be bolting through it, you're probably not going to gain a ton of rested experience. Uh, you know, maybe if you make a character right now and just leave him, maybe that's the play right now to make a brand new character, sit it out until the Shadowlands pre-patch, have a ton of rest, and slowly work your way through that rest. And I guess it'd be pretty good for a character that you've kind of abandoned at like level 60 or something like that, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to jump back into him. He'll have a ton of rest, so this would probably benefit you in that way. So that's the two set bonus. The three set bonus is increases your out of combat regeneration in outdoor normal dungeons and battlegrounds now this is pretty cool uh, now the thing is I guess definitely the early levels uh, you don't really have a lot of downtime you really really don't maybe in the way later levels you'll have a bit of downtime but you know super early on you know probably you know the first half of your um, your leveling experience you probably won't be sitting down at all because the regen is already pretty damn high the regen is already pretty damn high um, but yeah, you know, it's a nice little added little bonus there for three pieces. Three pieces is obviously just going to be, you know, pretty standard. So yeah, having a little bit of out of combat regeneration is pretty nice. Uh, Battlegrounds is very interesting because people obviously do level up through Battlegrounds. Will that make you super OP in Battlegrounds? I don't really know. I'm honestly not too sure what's going on with level up Battlegrounds. But yeah, that is uh, added on to the, uh, the three set bonus there. So the five set bonus is pretty interesting. This is gaining a level triggers a burst of knowledge, dealing 121 holy damage to nearby enemies and granting you 40% intellect for 2 minutes. Defeating additional enemies extends this effect up to 2 minutes. Now what's interesting about this one is, yeah it's cool with the uh, the AoE damage, obviously that goes up as you level up, you know 121 is just a level, uh, level 11 bonus, and 40% intellect, obviously that affects different classes different ways. Now it's cool, but there is some problems there, there is definitely some problems. Number one being there's only 60 levels now, so you're not going to be leveling up a ton. You know, you're not going to be leveling up as many as, you know, 120. Uh, number two is a lot of the level ups happen quest hand-ins or during uh, the end of dungeons and stuff like that. So the AoE is essentially kind of pointless. But again, you can, you know, if you are grinding mobs and you just randomly level up in the world, yeah, of course it will help you out. And it's a cool little flavor thing, I guess, and I'm sure the animation will be wonderful when it happens. Uh, and obviously the, you know, the 40% int buff for two minutes, and then, you know, it can extend for an extra two minutes is kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So like it's like a four minute buff. Uh, on your intellect, which isn't too bad. But yeah, as I said, you know, the, because it triggers with a level up, it's a bit of an interesting one there. Uh, but it is, again, a nice bit of flavor and a nice little addition to the set bonus. 
and the final set bonus for the six piece is the rested experience consumed is reduced by a further 30%. So with a full set of six items, you have 60% reduced consumption of your rested experience. Pretty great, as I said, you know, it's 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 cool to have that. Six is obviously quite a lot of heirlooms, but if you are, you know, if you want to power up that level, you know, just stick them all on and level up. Now, there is some, some definite mysteries here, and as I said, you know, I'm... Look, I'm, I don't mind the bonuses too much, but is it enough to justify the amount of gold that people spent uh, on those heirlooms beforehand? I'm not too sure. That's up for debate. I know a lot of people are very, very angry about this. Uh, I personally don't mind too much. You know, I spent my gold, I upgraded my heirlooms, and I used them. You know, I used them to level up. They, they, you know, I had the use out of them. They, I didn't just pay all the gold and just leave them to rot and not do anything with them. I actually used them, I used them to level, and it was a great time. So I feel like that, for me, is gold well spent. For others, maybe not so much. Um, now, what's interesting, and a bit of a mystery here, is the upgrade system. Now, as you can see here, it does say that it is upgraded. Uh, one of four, or three of four, or whatever, but it makes no difference currently on the beta, so I would imagine the upgrade system will be removed, and by default, this is just speculation, all of the heirlooms will go up to level 50, potentially level 60. I don't know that, that's not been confirmed at all, but as of right now, uh, the upgrade system is still in the beta, but it doesn't do anything at all. These automatically just go all the way up to level 50 as of beta. So, pretty interesting, yeah, so that is all of the heirloom changes coming to the game, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an interesting one, as I said, you know, let me know down below what you think of these changes, as I said, I'm not too bothered by it all, honestly, you know, with the leveling being a lot faster now, uh, it really doesn't make too much of a difference, I wouldn't mind better set bonuses, potentially, the rested ones seem a little bit pointless, and, uh, but yeah, as I said, you know, Blizzard said this is a work in progress, they want feedback, so if you do have feedback, guys, do leave it in the comment section, or just tweet about it, or post on the forums, or do anything you can, you know, make a noise, and, uh, honestly, you know, they have been listening, it's been a really, really good expansion so far for, uh, feedback, they really have been listening, so, you know, get your voices heard, and definitely have some, you know, interesting feedback on, the heirloom system. So, as I said, guys, do let me know down below what you think of this. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts. And before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash mrgm. We've been having a ton of fun testing out leveling over on the Shadowlands beta. So if you want to come and watch me do some chromie time, currently working through Mr. Pandaria, being super, super fun, and uh, testing out these heirlooms, in fact, uh, twitch.tv slash mrgm. I'm there every day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.